And welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube. For a new donation deck, we have Selesnia Bogles. That's right, we're going to be trying Bogles in Standard. For those of you that play Modern, you know all about Slippery Bogle, which is a 1-mana, one 1-1 one hexproof creature. You try it, you play it, and then you just play a whole bunch of enchantments on top of it to make it a, a lot bigger. And of course, it has hexproof, and you can give it, um, you know, you give it lifelink and trample and all sorts of stuff, vigilance, and you just uh, beat your opponent down with that one mana one one after you Voltron it up. That's what the that's the goal of this donation deck here um, that uh, we're going to be doing. We're going to have our hexproof creatures, which uh, really, what we have in standard is not very much. So we have Paradise Druid, whoops, and Bark Hide Troll. Those are like our our two uh, hexproof creatures that we're gonna have. Um, and uh, then as another threat, we also have Ginger Brutes, which is just another really cheap threat that we can pay one mana to make it unblockable, except for by creatures with haste. So we're gonna be playing these, and we're gonna be um, using all that glitters, this enchantment that gives the creature plus one, plus one for each artifact or enchantment you control. So we wanna have a lot of artifacts and enchantments, uh, and then this can make it a very large creature. So as far as artifacts and enchantments, we have a little bit of removal with enchantments with some prison realms and glass caskets. We have a couple angelic gifts to give our creature flying to, to make it pretty difficult to block, and it also cycles, it also draws a card. We got Sentinel's Mark, that's an enchantment that gives our creature Vigilance, which is really important with Paradise Druid, because it's hexproof as long as it's untapped. So we want it to have Vigilance, so it can just stay um, hexproof there. And then, uh, of course, the, the Ginger Brutes are, are, they are artifacts. That's hard to say, are artifacts. <clears throat> For all that glitters as well. And then there's a Rose Thorn Halbrid, which is an artifact that gives the creature plus two, plus one. Um, the other thing, we got a little bit of extra pump in here also with these stony strengths, put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature and untap that creature. That's important with both of our threats because with paradise druid untapping, it gives it hex proof. So if we attack, they use removal, we can, unt we can use stony strength to untap it and put a counter on it. And then also with bark hide troll, you need to pay one and remove a counter from bark hide troll to, to give it hex proof. And so that Stony Strength can give it that extra plus one, plus one counter if it needs another one. Also, speaking of giving more plus one, plus one counters, we have a couple Vivians that can give those creatures plus one, plus one counters, um, which is good for the Bark Hide Troll, but also, you know, just pumps them up. But then also gives them Trample, which, you know, giving them Trample can be really important there. Um, since we only have 12 threats, we need to be able to find them. That, that, that's not very many. And so we have the Once Upon a Times that can uh, help us find those threats also. Um, so we got the four once upon a time to look for them. And if if we don't have any creatures, if we can't find them, we could also minus five Vivian and go grab a, a big creature out of the sideboard, like a questing beast that can um, beat down our opponent as well. All right, so this is Selesnia Bogles. We'll see how this does here. Um, last time we tried this deck, was before rotation, where before rotation we had a Danto, Vanguard, and um, Vine Mare as two really good hexproof threats. Well, a Danto Vanguard, you just make indestructible, but Vine Mare in particular. Let's see how it does, though, now. All right, we'll keep this. This is a pretty good hand. Get this ginger brood out here. Hmm. Oh, you're like in Lazav and Brawl? That's a cool one. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Yeah, Carnage Tyrant too. All right, suit up. I want to keep the mana open to be able to keep the hexproof available on Bark Hide Troll.
<laughs> you forgot more about bogles than standard does. Yeah, there's not very much in standard for bogle. Alright, ginger brew down. Let's give this flying so that they can't just block with the wicked wolf and make their wicked wolf indestructible. Well, this is working out for us. It's working out. If they tap out and we draw a land, we can have lethal by prison realming the Gilded Goose and then playing the other all that gl glitters. But that would make that would mean they they tap out. They don't have the mana for the food. Like it's probably not happening. But never know. It could. Open your heart to the magic that dances around. Ugh. I mean, is that even? Maybe I just let that happen. No, I shouldn't let that happen. We didn't draw the land, but yeah, if we would have drawn the land, that would have been would have been able to have lethal. They went no blocks. Nine. We did it. <laughs> we won a game. Unfortunately, one game doesn't get you the match. We just beat the best deck in the format with our Bogle deck. So that was worth it. Okay. So that was perfect. Now, I guess I want Spy Glasses to shut down Oko, which means I'm going to get rid of Glass Caskets and Rose Thorn Halberd to fit those in here. That angelic gift was pretty clutch. All right, let's see. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> it won a match. We're already doing better than I thought. <laughs> we, had, <laughs> we had low expectations. Well, yeah, we got we got one. We got one. We're good there. Now we just need white man. Like, this hand's pretty nice. Paradise Druid with Vigilance and Flying and Big. Like, this this has everything. We just need... We need white mana. Even drawing a Once Upon a Time would be nice. Okay. All right. Just white, white mana. We'll take that. It's like a flash thing that gives your creature vigilance. It's weird. I'll shear the wool from your eyes. Surely you must be famished.
I guess I don't really need to get rid of this oak. Like, do I need a spyglass oko? Like, if I spyglass oko, I'm not really playing anything else. Because I, I don't want to, like, play one of these and then also spyglass, because that taps my paradise druid. You're saying yes. Everybody's saying yes, spyglass oko. All right. Well, then we don't we don't do anything else this turn. Then yeah, it's true. I. The Sentinel's Mark does have flash, so I can do this each end of turn if they tap out, if they don't leave up Ether Gust. But they're leaving up Ether Gust. Okay, we got our Vigilant Paradise Druid, can't do anything about it. Oh my gosh, if we beat Simic Food, this is going to be crazy. It's going to be awesome, if we beat Simic Food here. Ah, a flyer. Okay, I think I think I just do this to make it so that it's a two turn clock. All right, they got one turn. They got one turn, and, and these four cards that we know about don't do anything. The GGs? The GGs! The 9-9 flying hex vigilant hexproof creature. Wow. We did it. Oh, I, I took down the record to, because of the other part earlier. I didn't have this up. We're 1 and 0. Oh. Wow. Wow. Okay, we got to win. <laughs> Yeah, it's like Vine Mare, Sarah's Wings. Yeah, and we got the win 2-0. That was awesome. What do you think about Sir Farron? I made a Gruel aggro deck today. Can really do dirty things. Uh, that's the... That's the green one, right? That's the green, sir. Um... But yeah, I like the card. It's a it's a good two drop. Yeah, you can pump up, up, um, pump up other attackers and everything. It's a good two drop. Alir, getting the gifted stuff from Paul. Thank you so much, there, Paul. Santa Paul. Uh, do I? So I could cast Once Upon a Time because if we get the gingerbread. 
Yeah, I guess I just do this now. Either we get the gingerbread or we get an, or we could grab a we could grab this land that's just gonna come into play tapped and we could just play it now. Could could grab a third creature. I think we want the land. Having lands is, is pretty important. Oh no. No, the Paradise Druid. Should have taken the troll. I can't really play the, the troll here because it doesn't have hexproof. You know, you, you have to have the extra mana for it, so we kind of need the third mana. Should have taken that other one. I, mean, I could play the gingerbread, but I'm not attacking with it because I'm leaving the one mana up to protect the troll. Prison realm for that. I have other schemes to attack. <sighs> Ooh. I like my opponent's deck, of course. Looks like my Grixis is a mess. A quest of mystery. Awesome. Good, Rip Kevlar. Glad you're enjoying the Selesnia Knight's deck from the other day. I have to cast Prison Realm this turn. I don't know what to Prison Realm, though. I think it's actually the token. I do want to land. I... Kind of regret keeping this ginger brute and not discarding the land. Or and discarding the land. I'm getting too. If I get rid of the the royal scions, I'm getting too risky with that token being big enough for the life link. What 
what is my strategy here? Because if we draw a land, then I can have Vivian plus hold up the protection for the troll. Should we regroup? Oh, definitely. All right, so they get their lifelink creature. Oh no, that's bad. Now that thing has hexproof. That's bad. Basically unblockable now too. It's gonna to be tough to race. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. My plan was to, you know, like to, to this turn go minus and have, and you know, kill this thing. That was my plan, but now it has hexproof. Here into the brush. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Rude. No, there's no Conclave Tribunal in this list. Yeah, I could have killed the Gleaming Overseer. But I wanted my Barkai Troll to be bigger than their thing to block. So, like, I wanted to do this for one turn, and then the next turn I was going to kill the Overseer with the Minus. We need to eat up this army. They're going to go back up to 24.
Why don't they just destroy the ginger brute? Oh no! Oh, that's so bad! Oh, I forgot about that part! No! Uh, no! Uh, shame concede. <laughs> uh, that happened. I forgot about that pump with all that glitters. Just forgot about that. Alright, we're gonna get all these Vela Summers in here. Ginger Brute just doesn't, isn't going to be... No, my, my creature wasn't going to die because it had because they, they, they were going to do the damage to the Ginger Brute first. And so, yeah, the Ginger Brute was going to die. But it would have been one less damage on the troll, so the troll would not have died. I kind of want to take out these ginger brutes, but then that'll just be like even less, even less threats. Y'all think the ginger brutes are good? It's a reference to slippery slippery bogle. I feel like the, the ginger brutes are very easy to kill. I, I know they count towards all that glitters, but they're just too easy to kill, and they just one damage is not is not enough. I think they're more useful. I don't, I don't really have anything I'm going to grab there. I think they're more useful when. When your opponent's trying to block and not just play all removal spells, but we have an opponent that's just trying to play all removal spells. So I, therefore I don't think they're as useful. Basically, this is a risk getting it in play because it dies right now because I don't have the mana for Hexproof. But I can't... I think, it's the, I think this is a better risk because I think if I just keep it in hand here that they could have... You know, they just have Thought Erasure and make me discard it. I think it's less likely that they have a two-mana removal spell than a Thought Erasure, basically. But they had a two-mana removal spell. You know, we got to pick our poison there. Okay. Here we go. Ugh. 
That was perfect. Duress plus negate. They didn't take the one, the Sentinel's mark. So. So we'll see what they got. I mean, they could. They obviously can just sit here and block for a while, but. Hopefully, no sweeper. Oh, right. I'm playing four Ingress Rampage in that deck. I forgot I have four Ingress Rampage in that Grix is a mass deck. Yeah, that's a tough matchup for sure. Uh, all right, one and one. GG's. Maybe if I... I don't, I mean, the the second game we were still, or the first game, even if I would have not thrown it away, we were still in a bad spot because of my opponent having so much life and having a 1-1 to block with every single turn. So we're still in a tough spot, but I, I did just kind of throw that one away, unfortunately. But that's a tough matchup for us the kill all of your stuff deck usually does good against the bogle deck i mean like same in modern like grixis grixis good against bogles all right not the best of our enchantment auras for for the ginger brute i wouldn't mind drawing a paradise druid All right, I'm hoping this is Selesnia. And not Golgari. If this is Golgari, we're in a lot of trouble. If it's Selesnia, we're we're doing better cuz basically bleh, basically Golgari plays a lot more removal. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Um I wish I had more white mana. We'll be able to flash in the Sentinel mark. I'm not expecting the, them to have two mana instant speed removal for this. I think they have, you know, like Murderous Rider. It's like a big thing that they got over there. Good thing. Good thing Ginger Brute's unblockable. And that's game. No removal. Ginger Brute. Hmm. So 
So their removal is going to be black. So I think Veil of Summer is just an upgrade over Stony Strength. And an upgrade over God's Willing. But then would I rather have God's Willing... No, I never said that Ginger Brute was bad. I said for that for that matchup that we were just playing against, against the Grixis control deck. This is, like, my opponent's playing creatures. Ginger Brute's good here. When the opponent's just playing all removal spells, I don't really want Ginger Brute. I never said Ginger Brute's bad. Do we want, like, the God's Willing over something else? Do I want to maybe get rid of one of these three mana removal spells? It's kind of expensive. Yeah, what if we just play one Strength, one God's Willing, and get rid of two Prison Realms? Let's try that. Yeah, I guess I could have taken out the Hellbird um, also there and kept in another um, Prison Realm. I guess. Could use a Paradise Druid. Season of Growth. Yeah, that could be a that could be a sideboard card for like the like maybe maybe that's a good sideboard card for like that kind of Grixis matchup, where it's going to be a slower matchup. That could be a good. Um, sideboard card. I don't think you really need it in the main deck, but... That could be a good option that could be get you a lot of card advantage, which is what this deck kind of needs. That thing can't block. Five to equip. Probably should have just equipped that 
last turn. But I, I kind of wanted to put that on Ginger Brute that's unblockable. But right now I'm going to get out of my hand. We've seen them have duress. I don't want another duress to, to come down and take it. Time to attack. Hope they don't have Black Lance Paragon. Fortunate. That's not good. I don't know what I could what I could have found with that Veil of Summer, but that was you know that was the game there, so I had to look for something. Cause that was the game. All right, let's get these Assure Assembles in here. Yeah, I could have got God's Willing. Yeah, that's that's what I could have found was God's Willing. Give it pro black. That sure is, is good against Black Lance Paragon and and against Black Removal. Um, I think I want to cut a Vivian or a Prison Realm. Or the Stony Strength. We'll just we'll just cut the Stony Strength. I sure is kind of doing that same thing. Yeah, God's willing is good. We we have we just have one. I think we just have one, or maybe we have some more than just one. I don't remember. But yeah, God's willing is good. We have a we have some God's willing in here. It's a good card. All right, I'm gonna once upon a time right now. Hmm. That was four good spells that I just put to the bottom. I'm going to shuffle with this thing. Because of that, even though that's... You know, that makes my... Blossoming Sands even more awkward. But those are four good at draws. Blacklands Paragon's really annoying. I was gonna Sentinels mark this, but sure, we got backups. I'd really like to get the enchantment that gives it flying. That'd be nice. 
But they have Assassin's Trophy, too. They can blow up the champion that gives it flying. Ugh. Yeah, the creature count doesn't really match up for the Greyhenge. Oh, and they have the one mana 1-1 one, one. Death Touch creature also. Yay, Angel Gift. That's a good one. I hope they don't find trophy. Or if they have Vraska Golgari Queen, that'd be bad too. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, it's better to. Yeah, if you, so the question is, as a new player, should I be spending gems I win on drafts, from drafts on more events or packs? I'd recommend more events. Um, yeah, you get better value there, especially if you're already doing doing drafts. Um, with the gems, either draft or sealed, one of those two, you get better value than just opening packs straight up. And plus, playing limited, which is sealed and draft, that's a... It's like the best way to get better at magic as well. So yeah, I'd recommend doing that. Well, the point of Vivian is to give trample. Return of the Wild Speaker doesn't give trample. Okay. All that glitters is like the best card for me to have. I don't think I'm going to be assembling. I don't think. Well, now I just got to cast this thing. Now I wish I would have just had an untapped land and just cast Assemble. I think I'd rather have three 2-2 two, two creatures than that plus one plus one counter. That's really unfortunate, putting both of those, all that glitters, down to the bottom. That's my best card to draw. And we 
got two of them at the bottom. This one draw step. Infinite cards. That drawing keyboard just means you have infinite cards. That's all that means. If they find another Smitten Sword Master, I'm pretty dead. If I would have drawn another angelic gift into and all that glitters, I could have had lethal there that turn. So this is six damage three times, even if I gain three life with this. Darn. Unfortunately, that was just the worst once upon a time putting those two, all that glitters down to the bottom. I need those. Whoa, I think I actually got a mythic. I didn't get to see what, what card I got, but I think I actually got a mythic that I didn't have there. I don't, I don't think rule of law and you said what a rule of law on the sideboard. I don't think rule of law really helps solve any problems. I think we probably need the other glass caskets in the sideboard. Like I like in that kind of matchup, like prison realm's kind of expensive, but I wouldn't mind having more glass caskets. For like the other creature decks. You know, like I wouldn't mind having that. <clears throat> Maybe get the other two glass caskets in there. Um, but hey, we got to win. Um, uh, yeah, we got to win. And, um, and you know, we were pretty competitive in some of those other games. We had two two games there that we, and, you know, we won it. We got a, a match win, and we even got it, you know, we went to game three. So, yeah, for the person that donated for this, for their um, their expectations, we, we did pretty good. Uh, I don't really like Conclave Tribunal. I would rather have the glass caskets there. I think they, I think you have enough removal. Um, and Conclave Tribunal is just going to be four mana most of the time. We don't really want to be tapping our creatures um, to convoke it out. I, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd want to play Conclave Tribunal over anything else that we got here. But yeah, Hawkeye, we got some Bogles. Got to do some bogley things. Um, so there we go. If you're watching on YouTube, if you play bogles in standard, feel free to post your list in the comment section. You know, you can export it like from Arena. So if you're somebody who likes playing bogles, if you're playing some all that glitters, let me know how it's going for you over there. Um, we've we've played an all that glitters deck before with like the artifact aggro. You know, getting really focused on the artifact theme and stuff. But this this version's trying to go with the hex proof with it um which is not a lot of options here in standard but this is the best that we came up with here and it worked okay worked okay there all right um try yeah i know i know you're saying tribunal for sideboard but still i i wouldn't i think i'd, ra I'd rather have glass casket because against those those aggro decks i just want the two mana like i don't want i don't want the four mana card basically because most of the time it's going to be four mana um yeah i I, would, I don't really want it even in the sideboard all right, there's Selesnia Bogles there. Um, also, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all those things also. I'd appreciate those as well. But thanks for, so much for watching Selesnia Bogles, and I'll see you for the next video.